Brutal deep freeze now, hitting so many millions. I mean, someone said 80 million Americans affected by this. And look at the deep south, too. Severe winter weather creating dangerous conditions in Texas and Virginia, North Carolina. A mix of snow and sleet and ice and the wind chill readings well below zero. This is very rare, as you know. It's the kind of weather you might see once in a generation threatening to paralyze a huge area. Team Fox covers now. Maria Molina in the Extreme Weather Center. And But we begin Jonathan Sherry's in Montgomery, Alabama today. And how are conditions deep down south, Jonathan? Bill, we've noticed a, a major change just in the past 12 hours. When we arrived here in Montgomery, Alabama last night, the temperature was in the mid-50s. Now we're at 31 at this very spot where I am right now. This morning we woke up to rain, and now we're seeing some sleet mixed into it, and we anticipate snow as we go further into the afternoon. There is a chance that roads and bridges will begin to ice, especially as we uh, go into the afternoon. And so crews are out in full force, uh, prepared to spread stands on bridges. But, Bill, as you know, and as you said, such weather events, cold weather events are so rare in this part of the country that these communities um, all up and down uh, throughout the southeast don't have the large fleets of heavy equipment that you need to deal with such storms that you might find in the upper Midwest, for example. And that's why local officials are urging people who don't absolutely have to be out and about in the elements to stay at home today. Bill? Uh, how is it affecting the region? I mean, okay, so you're you're there in Alabama. I mean, you uh, back in Georgia, you, uh, where you live in Atlanta, west to Texas, covers a huge area, Jonathan. It covers a huge swath. We're talking about uh, Texas all the way through the Carolinas, people uh, taking preemptive actions, preparing for the storm. And in fact, we have some video to show you because we're already seeing reports of icy conditions in Austin, Texas, normally a warm weather community, another warm weather community, Houston. They're NASA closing the Johnston Space Center, uh, telling non-essential employees to stay home. The one area of the Johnston Space Center that remains open is Mission Control because of course, they have to continue communicating and monitoring the International Space Station. But it is ex affecting the entire South Bill. And another SWAT coming that way. Thank you, Jonathan Seri, live down there. Martha has more. Yeah. So how long is this deep chill going to last? Maria Molina is in the Extreme Weather Center with the answer to that question. Hi, Maria. Hey, Martha. Good morning. And I do have some good news in terms of that uh, question. But I first want to show you what's going on right now in the radar picture because we do have that sleet, like you've heard, across parts of Texas, Louisiana. Louisiana, Mississippi, and all the way up into parts of Virginia. So you're talking approximately 1,500 miles across parts of the south that are dealing with winter weather early this morning, and that is why we do have a number of winter storm warnings. And in fact, many of these communities could actually be looking at accumulations of ice of over a quarter of an inch. That's going to be extremely treacherous on the roadways. We have cities like New Orleans under a winter storm warning, Tallahassee, Montgomery, very, very rare. And also an ice storm warning for Savannah, Georgia, and Charleston in South, in South Carolina. So we're looking at significant ice accumulations. Their power outages are a possibility as well. Timing on the storm system, we do expect it to continue to impact us throughout the afternoon hours today. On the southern side of the system, just rain where temperatures are relatively mild. But you can see temperatures behind the storm very cold into tomorrow morning. But by Wednesday early morning, we do expect the storm to begin to wrap up some lingering snow showers along parts of the coastal Carolinas, but overall conditions improving as we head into tomorrow. By the way, Martha, take a look at North Carolina, eastern North Carolina. They can see over six inches of snow, <laughs> but eventually much better as we head into the weekend, a significant warm-up. So that snow's not going to be sticking around for too long. So yeah, that's the good news. 63 on Saturday. Yeah. That's the place to be. All right, Atlanta. Maria. Thanks very much. Thank I mean, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, Atlanta could hit 15 degrees later tonight. That's 20 degrees below the average. All time, all time low, rather, in Atlanta is 9 degrees below zero. But when she talks about snow in North and South Carolina, yeah. six inches or yeah, more, yep. that's crazy stuff.